Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to rotate text in a SRS report. So we will be creating a matrix report and then we will be rotating text for our header columns and we will be doing maybe 90 degree or 270 degree and horizontally and vertically. So we will play with those property and see how a report looks like. So let's go ahead and create the report. First of all, let me show you the data set I'm going to use. So this is the data I have for total sale table and we have some region for country, we have some items sold, we have product names and all that. So I'm gonna get this query and this data set is available on techbrothersit.com under, under SSRS video tutorial. You can copy and just create this table with this data. Now come to the D D uh, SSDT SQL Server Data Tools uh, and I have already created uh, one of one uh, SSRS project. Uh, if you, you haven't created it you can go ahead and create a new one uh, and uh, then uh, you have to create a shared data so source uh, or uh, you will be creating embedded data source. Uh, if you have created uh, uh, or creating uh, multiple reports uh, from one uh, database uh, it's good idea to create a shared data source uh, so in this case we have to provide the sql server name and the database name now we are all good here let's go to the report uh, right click add a report new item and uh, we will be selecting a report we call this one uh, rotate text add empty report will be created uh, and uh, go to the data sources uh, right click add data source here and point to the shared data source uh, so we call this one ds uh, sales and uh, use the shared data source here hit ok now create a data set uh, data set is a result set returned by your query or store procedure so we call this one uh, d set uh, sales and uh, use them the, this is going to be embedded data set in our report and the user uh, data source here and paste your query now we are all good here in our case uh, we are going to create a matrix report so this is summary report so go to the design surface and then right click insert and select a matrix so now you see that here we can provide the columns and here on the left side we can provide the row and in middle we have the data so what I want to do I want to have a columns such as a region here on the columns and on the rows I want to have uh, let's see product name and then in the data I want to have the sum of those items sold for this region and these product right now let me drag this part and bring it in the middle so we preview the report so in my case, uh, I might not have a lot of uh, regions, uh, but you still see that uh, this is expanded uh, on the pretty much uh, all the way here. So what we want to do instead of uh, just having Asia, Europe, and this, uh, and one of them empty because there is a null value uh, for the region. That's why it is coming empty. Uh, and uh, you can change your query if, uh, here. Let's go to data set if we don't want to have that value. So let's go back to data set and uh, you will say go at the end and say where region is not null so we are getting only the regions where they are not null and uh, let's preview the one report one more time and now you will see only the regions of which are available still you see that report is expanded in Asia Europe and North America on all the way if uh, let's let's say you have five uh, of uh, those regions or maybe 10 of those region and you have a lot of uh, data and uh, it, this will expand all the way on the right uh, and left uh, it will be you have to kind of scroll here and there to see the data how about that if we will uh, this may uh, this region we will uh, put this one in vertical that will help us uh, and uh, we can compact this report uh, so go to design and the region uh, click uh, f uh, uh, sorry hit f4 uh, that will take us to the properties uh, of this uh, cell now once we are in the text box properties uh, we need to find uh, a property called writing mode so it is a default uh, that's horizontally and then we can uh, go ahead and change that one so if I will do uh, horizontally let's see if there would be some different impact on that one so I don't see any impact 
and uh, it is pretty much horizontally already so we can go back uh, and now we are going to play with this one and change this one to the vertical so where we have this one right here and then we have vertical now you see that uh, the text is uh, written from the uh, top to the bottom and you can buy, see by yourself uh, let's expand this one a little bit so we can see a little more and you can see the region will be written like that but if that's that will work for you you want to start from there fine but if you want to have uh, other way around you can uh, do that as well so in this case uh, we see Asia is written like this uh, some people don't like this way so they want to have totally opposite uh, so that is also doable so let's go back here and uh, if we uh, press uh, F4 go to properties again and now we will, we will change uh, this one to the let me find out that property sometimes it take forever oh, sorry we were t selecting the entire thing that's why we were not able to see now we uh, selected that column again and now I should be see right here so vertical rotate to 70 that's much better and uh, now it should work uh, see Asia is started from down or bottom to the upwards uh, so that's how I wanted and uh, now we have uh, you can see the report is a lot more compact and you can see on one page and you don't have to scroll all the way left or right to see the values also you can uh, make it more compact because I have a uh, space here uh, and uh, my values are not that big so I can make this one I can now this is good I would like to color actually a few of the things here before I, I go ahead and color this one let's uh, change the color to this cell sorry click here now you will be seeing the colors okay and the for product I want to have different color so I'm gonna go ahead and select the green now we are good here so think about that scenario here we have a region and if we would have country horizontally it will really expand things also and there would be no choice for you um, beside you scroll left or right to see all those uh, values uh, and by doing the vertical uh, you uh, you have a compact uh, report here now let's go ahead and add one more column here so let me bring country right here so if we bring the country here so first it is region then country and uh, we can change the color for country and uh, that will give us uh, let's do yellow now if we preview the report uh, you see that first Asia then we have India and Pakistan and they are very compact uh, and uh, there you can see that you can expand a little bit Germany is cutting right here Y is cutting so you can give some more space uh, uh, to avoid that part so you can come there down and give some space here and uh, you can make maybe make bold or if you want to change the fonts and all those kind of things uh, so you can do it here if you want to make countries italic and now you are all good so this is how you will be seen uh, uh, the regions and then you are seeing the countries if I will uh, just change this uh, from vertically to horizontally you will see the report will expand all the way on the left uh, sorry right side and uh, you have to scroll so let me go back here we go to the properties again and now from uh, rotate 270 we are going to go default or horizontal and uh, now you will see that uh, what happened you still have country as the rotate 270 but uh, so you see here you have uh, regions but they are really cutting right here you have to provide them space and also if you will go ahead and do the same thing for country you want to change to the let's say we change to the right now it is a rotate 270 if we change to the horizontally or default what happened now you need a lot of space to display these values to make them kind of adjust them in a way so you have to bring them here now we you preview that and you will see that your report is expanded uh, and you have to scroll in my case I have only three regions and I have very few countries and that's why I'm able to see on one page but if you will have 20 or 30 countries or you want, would have data for maybe a year and then for months 
uh, then think about that 12 months of data, you will have whole January, February and all that. In the, those cases, uh, uh, your report will be expanded uh, and you have to scroll left to right to see the values. Uh, so in those cases, uh, maybe you would like to do the vertical rotation uh, 270 and uh, compact your report and see on one page. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.